Hey guys, so I brought out some of my favorite devices um, because I have a bit of a sad story, but I also have something new to show. So lately, I've had some issues with my Pine Phone screen, like the it, it can't actually read touch on a good portion of it, and I did drop it like probably not maybe an hour or a couple hours before I noticed this, so I don't know if that relates or not, but I did replace the screen maybe a year ago. So uh, I'm not giving up the Pine Phone at all. I love the Pine Phone. You know, it's taught me a lot in a way that it's given me a lot better habits. I'll tell you, when I started out with Android long ago, you have such bad habits that come out of using a smartphone and having it attached to the hip 24 hours a day. And the Pine Phone really taught me that, you know, this device is just a tool, just like all the rest of the devices. They're just tools. And I've gotten a lot healthier habits just by having a Pine Phone. But also, I'm not leaving Linux phones behind. I plan to eventually get another screen for this, but after changing the screen maybe a year ago, I just wasn't up for my third screen. And so uh, what, what I did is I ended up getting an Android. Just at least for the time being, uh, I got a Google Pixel 6a. It's a very nice device. Very nice device, but I'll tell you, even now, even as excited as I am to have a new toy, uh, I feel differently about my phones now since using the Pine Phone for the last maybe three years. I feel like I have a lot healthier relationship, and it's an important reminder that these devices, they're just tools. And sometimes we can have unhealthy habits with them, being so dependent on them. Have you ever seen someone who forgot their phone? Have you ever seen how they freak out? You know, it's unhealthy to have that kind of relationship with your phone. And uh, just wanted to mention that because even with a brand new device, I don't feel the same way as I used to about having a phone all the time. You know, having a Pine phone, it teaches you a little discipline and you build healthier habits, but the cool thing about Linux phones is you can go in there, and I was one of the early adopters. As you can see, I have the Ubuntu Touch version, uh, Braveheart, and I don't know if it's related to hardware or if it was related to the drop, but uh, I felt like I was ready to try Graphene, so that's what I did. I put Graphene on my Pixel. And I wanted to check it out. You know, as somebody who runs a channel that focuses on security and privacy, I mean, why the heck wouldn't I try Graphene, the one that everyone's always talking about? So I ended up doing that, and I've installed a few apps so far. You can actually use the Play Store as well as F-Droid and other options like that. And it actually has a way to manage that in a sandboxed way. As you can see there, Sandbox Google Play is running, and it performs great. It's a wonderful piece of hardware, um, but I am excited to have tried with Graphene, and I'm excited to see the videos I'm going to come out with to give everyone some recommendations and just share some of the things that I've decided to install, and maybe some setups as well along the way to share information on things that I discover with, you know, the usability, with whatever else. It's been so many years since I've actually sat down and had an Android as a daily driver. So it's a big change, and honestly, I am pretty sad about it because, honestly, Linux phones, you know, are something I really believe in and something, you know, I'm not giving up on, but for the moment... I'm using an Android, and Graphene is an awesome operating system. You know, it's really a lot of great hard work has gone into this operating system. There's a lot of great benefits that I'm going to share in coming videos with Android, degoogled Android, whatever you want to call it. I didn't have to go with Graphene. Uh, I could have gone with something else, of course. But, you know, 
had to try graphene. You hear a lot about it. In fact, it's pretty much the most popular security and privacy uh, degoogled Android that you can get. And so I decided to try my hand at it. And for the moment, that's what I'm going to be working with on the phones. But of course, I'm not going to be stopping videos on using Pine Phone because I have the Pine Tab 2, which essentially can run all of the same operating systems that the Pine Phone and Pine Phone Pro can run. I also have the original Pine Tab here, which I still love. I don't break it out as often as I used to since getting the Pine Tab 2, but honestly, I've been a bit busy anyway, so I haven't really had a chance to play with them very much. But I am going to do some videos on some of the operating systems available to the Pine Tab 2 and the Pine Phones as well. Uh, so, you know, I am excited about doing those videos. But for the moment, you know, I am going to do some videos also on Android Graphene because I know that's probably what most of you use anyway. So it's an investment in content as well. So I'll be able to share some of the different setups I come up with for this as well. And I plan to set up, of course, an I2P browser setup on here as well. And I already have Tor Browser, of course, and a couple other apps. I haven't even opened all the apps. I just started installing a few that I knew I wanted. But I uh, just wanted to do this video just to talk about the fact that I got a graphene phone now, and I'm looking forward to doing content with it. I'm also a bit sad that I don't have a Linux phone, because I really enjoyed going in there and editing all the config files in a way you can't do with a standard Android in the same fashion. Of course, with that, you get the security benefits of a more restrictive environment which brings great security benefits. But with Linux phones, you also have that option to customize in deeper ways that you might not have with Android, at least not with a lower barrier. So Linux phones are awesome. Still, you know, really gung-ho for the Linux phones, but I did get a Graphene phone, and I am super excited about that. I am super excited to be trying out Graphene and talking about some of this in coming videos. So I look forward to doing content on this and look forward to talking more about the Google Pixel. Uh, so uh, make sure to like the video, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more tips, tricks on protecting your security and privacy. I'll see you in the next video.